Welcome back to Better Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I'm Jarrett Wenzel. Joe Bear. We're Matt Gibbons. Local South Jersey metal band Pariah. And this is the Paul Ryan story, part two. Yeah. Take two. Take no part two. The first. This is two different separate videos. Oh, okay. Yeah. We don't edit anything. People are gonna very be very disappointed. Yeah, the they're first gonna one. get the first part. Like, ah, didn't get to the point. <laughs> So the question is, uh, we were talking about, did Paul Ryan steal the bean story for Corpaine? What happened was, during the vice presidential debate, <clears throat> uh, Paul Ryan made a reference, when they talked about the whole abortion issue, that when they saw the, um, the ultrasound of his child, that it looked like a little bean. So they nicknamed her Bean. You know, like, but what, but Kirk Cobain... When he uh, saw Courtney Love's ultrasound of his daughter, um, not only did he nickname her Bean, he actually named her Bean. Her actual name is Courtney Bean Francis. Right? right I'm sorry. Francis, Francis Bean Cobain. Francis Cobain. Bean Cobain. Yeah. Sorry. I'm getting all the names messed up. But, but <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right. Francis Bean. Right. So he, he, actually, he actually used the Bean. That's just it. So, uh, the w reason it's a little bit suspect, as suspect. Gibbons would say, is because Ryan has stated that he's a big fan of Nirvana, I was just gonna say that. Rage, Against, Rage the Machine, Against the Machine, and Tool, and uh, so they thought that maybe he saw that story and thought, that'd be a good idea, you know, to, to steal that story. So, do you think the guy came up with an original story, or do you think Mark, that he probably said, took it? I'm gonna have to say no. Yeah. You know what, what makes him suspect is recently I saw a video of him and he went to like a like a homeless shelter or whatever and he went and he was washing dishes. Um, but the dishes looked spotless. They're like pots. And then what happened was they actually had talked to the person afterwards and said that he was only there for about 15 minutes and then yes, he did in fact wash clean Clean pots. dishes? Uh. Yeah. Hmm. So Tom Morello found out Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, I saw that. When he found out about what he found out yeah. that Ryan was a fan, and he said, uh, "Ryan is the embodiment of the machine that our music has been raging against for two decades." Yeah, raging from the limo, they raging against the machine. Yeah, I saw that. So he was not happy about that. That's pretty much what happened in the story. And Matt likes politics, so I figured Matt would like to weigh in on this. First of all, Tom Morello is not the rebel that he thinks he is. He's, he's, he, as he did that, he was sipping his Don Perignon from his limo. So whatever he has to say about it. Um, I'm no fan of Paul Ryan. I, I wasn't familiar with the homeless shelter story. But that honestly, that just sounds like a typical politician thing to me. That's just the kind of things they do for those photo ops. And uh, I'm no fan of Paul Ryan's at all whatsoever. But I, I've, I've actually heard other people say similar stories to that, that have never heard Nirvana in their life, that it looks like a kidney bean and... I've, I actually know somebody who nicknamed their child Bean from a son. So if you're asking do I think it's true that he nicknamed his kid Bean, I, I don't think he's necessarily lying about that. Maybe okay. he is. I don't know. But having been a fan of Nirvana, he's definitely heard that story and knows he's got to know that Kurt Cobain's daughter's yeah, name is that. Right. So he pr if he did nickname his daughter Bean, he was uh, in probably inspired to do that by the Nirvana thing, as I would say it. So... And I guess what I'm trying to say is I wouldn't say that he stole it necessarily, but, you know. But, yeah, he got that's why I think it. Yeah. All right. So that's my opinion on it. So and that's our political issue. And vote for Gary Johnson. That's also. And what have you said? All right. That's it. <laughs>